I've always loved film and television growing up, how it's taking you outside of your world and bringing you into something new. When you work in a, in a good film with a good crew, there's like this symbiotic beauty about it. You just like feel like you belong. I like working in props and just film in general because what else am I gonna do with 14 hours of my day? The food. <laughs> That's a great one. You're always doing something and you're learning. I love building things with my hands. Um, I love being part of that creative process to see something come to life in your hands from start to finish. One, it's challenging every day. Two, it's always different. And three, you get to work outside. Did I already say that? Was that my number one? No, challenging, no. different. Okay, yeah, challenging, different, and outside. Well, I'll start with my name is Ray Brown, and I'm the president of Local 479. And uh, about a year ago, I was at an international general executive board meeting, and our international president, Matthew Loeb, was speaking on the importance of the young workers in the IATSE. And he was asking that locals begin in, in a chapter at each one of their individual locals get them engaged in the inner workings of the union and to identify potential leaders for our future growth. So I reached out to some of the young workers that I knew were dynamic people and would engage themselves wholly in this, looked for four or five good people, ended up with a couple dozen, and they have set the bar so high that the international has actually taken note. I am Kevin Cheatham, compound last name Cheatham. Chairman of the Young Workers Committee for Local 479. And I'm Hillary Smiley, co-chair of the Young Workers Committee for Local 479. When we started the, the Young Workers Committee for our local last year, um, we just had in mind, okay, you know, step one, we have to get the first event out the gate and let's see what comes of it. Huge success, great. But we also want to have classes that will further educate our young workers coming in to solidify the base of our union and also and create more positions within our committee for our young workers. And it provides that opportunity for young workers to fulfill that leadership role. And that's what it's all about, is creating that strong foundation for our union. Hi, my name is Glenn Pizon. I am the treasurer of the uh, Local 479 Young Workers Committee, and I work in props. We knew we wanted to start off this whole Young Workers Committee with something big. We came up with the idea for the kickball tournament, and we just went to our respective shows and just asked for support. The UPNs, the executive producers, and also just reaching out to crew members and saying, hey, do you want to come be a part of this thing? And we reached out in general to the, the film community to host of vendors that are around here that work uh, with film, rental houses, set deck warehouses, things of that nature. We wanted everyone to experience success from this event, and I, I think everyone was pretty happy. I mean, the turnout was bigger than I ever expected it would be at the start of this thing. Um, and for something that big to come uh, to fruition so well, I mean, 200 people, $18,000, uh, that's pretty remarkable. I'm Amy Pellicero and I am the head of school at GBP. I'm Julia Levy and I'm the director of finance and development at GBP. All of our students are legal refugees who have come to the U.S. They've been resettled through UNHCR. So they're mostly coming from places where there has been um, a history of conflict and people have had to move uh, multiple times and they're searching for a place to raise their children and to help their children find an education and have a future. IATC in Atlanta raised over $18,000 for our program through their kickball tournament. That was an enormous, valuable gift for us in so many ways, but primarily it, it raised scholarship funds for our students. They attend our school free of charge, so this was an amazing gift for us. It's a big deal to be able to educate one young woman for a whole year for free, and if we weren't able to raise this money for them, year after year, the school wouldn't exist and we wouldn't be able to do this good work. So the purpose of the Oscar party was for our young workers to network with each other and make connections. We all work in film and we want to celebrate the art that we make and it was a way of just giving our nod to things that we create. We had a lot of planning that went into it and that's where we got a lot of our new members to come in and just help with getting things picked up in a timely fashion, getting things decorated in a timely fashion.
So our charity was Crestview Health and Rehab. And uh, what we did was a clothing drive and we had thousands of items donated from different productions, from individuals coming in. It was a different way to give back to our community. Young Workers Committee is important because we're able to network between young workers. There's so many people getting into the union nowadays that don't exactly know what the union is about. And this gives us opportunities to, to hold events, to talk to people, to talk to bigger people that are in hiring positions, that know people that are in hiring positions. When I first got involved with the Young Workers Committee, I didn't really talk to people at meetings. I more or less sat by myself. And now when I come to meetings, I'm always sitting with another young worker or a group of young workers, and we become more or less a family. I believe our success has come from, one, uh, a very strong team effort. Uh, if you get a good group of people that are like-minded and have that ambition to achieve something greater, um, you create one vision and you have all these ideas that add on to that vision, then all it takes is just action from there. We have people that are very committed to this group and people that show up every week and really put in the extra work, which is hard to ask of people after they've already worked a 60 plus hour week. But the commitment level of our members has been astounding. It's an ongoing committee. This committee operates all year round. But what I'd like to see this committee do is continue well beyond my tenure here, continue to seek out, recognize, and pull into this committee the leaders among our local, the leaders among the international union, and those that can propel us further into the future with great ideas, great resources, and the willingness and the chutzpah to do so.